Welcome back guys, Johnny Keck over at Ant Futures, and we're going to go into the second part of our chart trading order entry. Uh, we've already covered the first portion, which uh, I've shown you how to use two different methods in placing trades off the chart trader, whether it's drag and drop or point and click. And now we're going to go ahead and show you how to verify your open positions, verify where you're filled at, also known as your average price, how to change P&L unit display. So if you want to see your profit and loss in dollars or percentages or ticks, I'm going to show you how to change that unit display and how to eliminate the order confirmations on the chart trader as well. So uh, let me go ahead and turn the order confirmations back on since I previously turned them off. And by default, when you log into multicharts.net for the very first time, the order confirmations will auto automatically be en enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and turn them back on real quick. All right. So for example, if you notice, <clears throat> when I go to place a trade, if I right click on the chart at 2058 and I place order, it's going to ask me what the order confirmation on. Are you sure you want to place this order? So if you don't want the order confirmation, just be sure to turn them off by hitting do not ask me again. Uh, I'm all about efficiency, so I definitely like that option unchecked. It's just based on my personal preference. So if you do want it, if you do want the confirmations, then do not check, do not ask me again. But for now, myself, I'm going to go ahead and put a check there so that way I'm not asked a second time to place a trade. All right, so I'm going to hit yes. And in a few seconds, the trade will be placed on the chart. All right, so let me go ahead and cancel this order out. Since I've already shown you how to place the order, how to modify and cancel, let's go ahead and get right into the position so we can show you what a position looks like. So right now, this is the June mini S&P contract. Things are a bit slow at this time of day on a Sunday afternoon. However, I'm just going to go ahead and get into the trade right now by hitting the Buy Market button. And now you can see the position has been established. So if you look on the top right corner, of the chart trader panel, you'll see that your flat, that flat display prior to me being in the position said flat. Now you can see it says plus one. So that's letting me know the plus is representing a long position. Of course, the value of how many contracts you're long. So in that case, you can see that I'm long one. And right below it is the profit and loss display. So that's the open P&L, what we call it, open profit and loss. That's only going to show how much you're making or losing when you're in the actual trade itself. Of course, a cumulative P&L profit and loss throughout the entire day is accessible through the order and position tracker window, which you'll go to file, new, order and position tracker window. And then when you click on that, you'll see this is what it looks like. And you can see now you can see your realized P&L field here, which is basically total cumulative P&L throughout the entire day. So you can see open p is moving, but realized P&L is still zero because I'm still in that trade. All right, so again, that's file, new, order and position tracker window, and that's from the accounts tab. All right, so let's get back to the chart trader. Uh, let's blow this back up. And now let's, let's go ahead and close this position out by hitting the close button here. And let's show you now what a short position looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and just sell at the market this time. And now you can see I sold. Now instead of saying plus one, you can see that shows negative one. So that's telling you that you're short one contract. All right, now if you're wondering where did you buy or sell at, where are you where, where are you long or short from if you look on the dome the chart trading panel here you can see that uh, better yet on the on the right side price panel you can see there's a white shaded price at 2063 and a half now that might be a bit a bit tough to see because the white background is blending in with the average price of the white shaded price so if you want to change that color to make it more of a noticeable color so instead of instead of it being white on white what we'll do is we're going to right click on the right side chart trader panel it's very important that you right click in the off beige area if you right click in the the white area here nothing happens so you actually you actually have to right click in the beige area to get the menu option for the chart trader so now you can see format chart trading we're going to go and click on that and this is where you're going to be able to change active orders and positions from here and then you want to change your position entry price for both the sell and the buy so right now you can see it's kind of a vanilla white color so if i click in there i can change it to a more noticeable color so maybe like a neon green might be more appropriate so now you can see that I can see the average price is much more noticeable with that green shaded highlight instead of the white background. So that's how you change it. If you want to change it, right click on the right side, chart trader panel, go to format chart trading, and just be sure to click on active orders and positions. And you want to change your position entry price for both the sell and the buy. All right. And then if you don't want those confirmations on the chart there, as you can see those little arrows, indications letting you know where you bought or sold those contracts at, again, you want to right click on the right side chart trader panel and you want to go to format chart trading and just be sure to uncheck show historical orders under common settings. And I'm going to go and click OK. 
and now you can see those confirmations have been removed. All right, if you notice now the open position, you can see here that your short one, it's letting you know by color coordination red, it has a numerical value of one, letting you know that your short one contract. The open P&L display will also be uh, displayed on the chart itself, and you'll see a line that's going to the average price. So that sometimes that last trade price will cover the, the average price, Maybe you might have to change the scaling of your up and down axis, which we'll cover later in the, uh, the series and when we get more into charting. But if you want to just move it around, you can, you can always just drag up and down to kind of re-change the scaling of the chart by holding down your left click and dragging up and down on the right side price uh, panel there. And then you can see, I mentioned I can, you can change the P&L unit display. So if I left click on the P&L here at the top right, watch what happens when I left click with my mouse. You can see that changes the ticks, percentages, and dollars. So as, you, as long as you left click on it, it will change the unit display also on the chart as well. Ticks, percentage, dollars. And that's pretty much how you verify your open position. You look on the top right corner here, you'll see your position display, your open P&L. You can also see it on the actual chart itself. And you can see your average price, which is usually indicated by the shaded highlighted price that you were executed at. And that can be adjustable by going into the chart trader properties, by right clicking, go format chart trading, and just click on active orders and positions and change your position entry price as well as your for the both for both buys and sells. And other than that, this is a short summary of how to verify your open positions, verify your average fill price, how to change profit and loss unit display, as well as looking at accumulative PL through the order and position tracker window. Uh, the final segment after this particular video will be a final recap of the chart trading, just to kind of go over a few things in terms of the property menu options. And uh, we'll conclude that and we'll move on. Thank you very much, guys, and we'll see you next time.